All right, guys. So first off, I just want to apologize for um, the audio quality of this video. Me and Siberian Kitten uh, have been playing around with a couple different things, and we're getting a lot of echo. So I apologize for that up front. But uh, still some great content here, so enjoy the video. And uh, I think we got it all sorted, so the next one's going to be much better. Enjoy the video. Hey, CSM Minecrafters, welcome to episode 25. Here we are, flying high over our military base. As you can see behind me, we have been busy building. Uh, we've got some roadways in here um, and, and everything else. And I've got laid out our patrol boat harbor. That's right. This is where the patrol boats will be coming in and uh, going out from. And right here will be like an LCAC uh little spot where they can load and unload so the LCACs could come up on here and then the vehicles can drive down and and get on to land and, and go up on the uh, roadways and head into town things like that but this is you know it's a little secondary spot where uh, the military can get all their stuff we built a bridge all the way over here I'll try to show you quickly why can I not run please run thank you so here's our little bridge between the air, airway strips, airplane strips, right there like that. And then the vehicles, went. I kind of thought you know, like a bus could come along here or something, but they kind of just come right up here. See? Road crossing. So the vehicles can come in through here and then bring troops across when they're doing their rotations and, and things like that. And um, we've been thinking about maybe putting some barrack type buildings up over here too. We're playing around with that idea. Not too sure exactly how we want to do it. But then over here, ooh, oh, Siberian kitten sleeping. Oh, she's awake. Oh, we woke her up. <laughs> and then over here, yeah, so seawall and troop barracks. So we've got, I'll show you here. So patrol office parking. We're going to put a little parking lot right here. Patrol office, upper level. Patrol office, lower level, down there. And then boat launch ramp. So we're going to have a little launch ramp that goes down here, launches the boats. There's our patrol boat. And then you can see we did the uh, end rod just like we did on that uh, the bigger dock over there where the pointing in shows you where there's going to be a, um, a pier <laughs> that goes out into the ocean. Just a little dock, and then here's our seawall. We built this up just like we did the ones over there around the um, the roadways and things like that. So cobblestone in the back, and then I've got some of the smooth stone and, and stuff that we need to build the actual um, structural posts that come up and hold this in place. And then we got some iron bars and everything we're going to put on here. So... That is our build for today. But Siberian Kitten was afk in last night. It, look at this! She's going nuts with those crystals. Oh my gosh. How many... That is a lot of amethyst shards. That's not even all of them. No? Nope. And why are you getting all of these amethyst shards? Because one of the new blocks that we have... Is the tinted glass. So oh, with yeah. the tinted glass, you can make your mob farms and things like that. Holy smokes, that one's already full. Wow. So we're going to have three shulkers full of shards. Oh, and we still got some back at the home base, too. That's in a double chest there. Oh my gosh. That is crazy. All right, but you those guys. Those three geodes are really good. Mmm. They're in the same chunks, so when I AFK in one, they all grow, and I get the shards from all of them. Nice. All right, you guys. So while Kitten is busy getting shards, we are going to start building. Finishing out the uh, sea wall here. It goes along there, and then we're going to carry it through here. This oh, is all uh, going to be a wall. Yes. Come, come, come here. Oh, sorry. Okay, okay I'm coming. Look in these three. And then Full. Look in this one. 
while. Oh, you got candles. I made those a long time ago. Ooh, those are pretty. And azaleas. Mm-hmm. You know, the moss blocks. these azaleas, do they do they go in um, um, pots? Uh, I think they do. Yeah, we should try that. I think that would look really cool. And you can also grow the flowering azaleas into a flowering azalea tree. Yes. And, and yeah. I'm thinking about putting one in my bee box back at the home base because oh, the bees yeah. are attracted to those trees. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ooh, that'd be really cool. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, I'll let you get back to your amazing decorative events, and we are going to build the rest of the seawall. Okay, so that is the seawall totally in. There's our wandering trader. And uh, so we got all the cobblestone in. We've got the uh, upright pillars made out of the smooth stone. And we got all of the iron bars in. Now, the reason that side's not done is because this is where our uh, loading ramp is going to come down. It's going to come down from there down to here. And what I'm thinking is that we're going to have, because the alcacs are going to be way over there, all the military vehicles will be able to drive along the pier and then up that ramp. So I'm uh, waiting to get this area built, put in our ramp, because it's going to have to be level here, and then carry it down into there and kind of decide what do we do with this section. Do we block it in or, or what? Anyway, uh, that's that. So now the next step is going to be building this pier, get that area over there filled in where the LCACs will be going, and then we can start building our actual uh, patrol office. There you go. All right, guys, here we are at our villager uh, cursing area. And uh, we were out, Sabir and Kit and I went out and we did a whole bunch of mining. Um, I guess, yeah, that's, that's some stuff that we found. 
but we got a bunch of dripstone, and it came to mind that villager trades might have changed. You can see I have a new mason right here, and yeah, he trades for dripstone. So I'm hoping to, well, I am using some of that on um, one of our builds at the Navy base. So I thought, you know what, let's get a guy that does some dripstone. So I got four spots that I cleared up, and that's what we're doing right now. So we're getting him, we're cursing him up, and getting him ready to do some big trades. Boom. Curse him. One, two, three. Oh, yeah, there he goes. Oh, chink. And now I get to fix him. Oh, no. I got to put more potions in there. Okay, do some more. Chunk. Bam. So yeah, we're going to get four of these guys in there. There you have it. One, two, uh, three, and four dripstone masons. And yeah, I just finished trading them out. We got about half a shulker box of dripstone in here now. And I, yeah, I got some more cyan terracotta. We're going to need that for some other builds that are coming up. But there you go. Four dripstone guys. Now we have unlimited dripstone resources, which is what we wanted. So that's why I went through all of this. Still getting quartz, because, yeah, we got other big builds coming up. We're going to put this back in here. Oh, what else did I get? Oh, yeah, lots of bricks for our Navy base. All right. Nice. Kitten, what are you doing? Building something. You're building something. Is this a secret something? You can come look at it if you want to. Well, I wouldn't have asked if I didn't want to. Well, you can come look if you want to. Okay, where are you? I am at my glow squid farm. At your glow squid farm. Oh, that's over here somewhere. There. Oh my gosh, you're glowing. You're building a glow squid head. That's cool. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a second. Wait, turn around. You, you got it. Are you wearing your elytra? Yeah. They look different. Mm -hmm. Take those off. I oh, know I'm being bossy. You've got a cape. Mm -hmm. How did you? I don't have a cape. No cape on me. How'd you do that? Well, I finally got notified that it was time for me to upgrade my Mojang account to a Microsoft account. That is cool. Yep, so and, since and I upgraded my account, I got a cape. Mm. I put it on and it goes over my Elytra. That is cool. I like it. Very cool. And now you're building a glow squid head. Yep. That is cute as heck. And you're using slime blocks for the eyes and things. Mm -hmm. That is really cute. Oh, and now I see why you wanted the sea lanterns. Mm -hmm. It all makes sense now. Nice. Well, I'll let you continue on with that. Me and the crew, we're going to head back and go finish working on the Navy base. Oh, okay. Have fun. Okay. We are back at the Navy base, and I've gotten quite a bit done on this here patrol boat office building here. And coming on in, so I put the doorbell, but also opens the door. You come on in, there's a little desk here for uh, people that are doing deliveries or anything coming in um, or need to talk to the patrol team. I'm going to put stairs that will go down into this area. This will be the basic uh, spot for officers that are going on the boats and, you know, we'll have maybe some locker rooms or something back there. And then over here we have the um, captain's area, colonels and, and uh, uh, senior officers 
they come in here and they got maps and everything. If uh, there's a war or a battle going on, very much like we have over that way, they will be able to coordinate their efforts from here. So that's what we got done so far. So now what I'm going to do is I need to put a roof on this thing. Um, I brought back, where is it here? I think this is it. Yes. Okay, I've got cobbled. Yes, I got all the cobbled deep slate right there. So I'm thinking we do. We're gonna just get it. We're gonna get a little bit, and we'll play with it here. Hmm. You just want normal slabs, or should we go with the polished? I don't want to use the deep slate tile at the moment. Let's see. Let's go. Let's get 14 of those. And we'll get some of those. Okay. So we're going to have a roof that comes up from here. Yeah. Ah. Okay, so. The stairs. Stairs will be the part that goes up against that. Whoops. Against that. Okay. There. Let's get the slabs out. And let's see what we think of this look. I'm thinking like a shingle tile look. That actually looks pretty good. Not disappointed with that. Right? Something that, you know, desert related. Yeah, that actually looks quite good. I like that. Let's fly up and see what we think. The dark ties in quite nicely. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to go with. I like it. Okay, so let's go make us some more stairs and slabs. Oh, I didn't want to break that one. Oops. I'll finish putting the roof on. Obviously, just the outside's finished. we got to do the inside yet, but uh, what a difference putting a roof on makes. That looks really good. So what I did on the top, as you guys saw, uh, did it all flat. Flat roofs are very common on um, buildings of this style where you might have heavy winds, things like that. And uh, I maintained the shingle look because what you'll find too in areas like this is they'll do like a, um, a waterproof membrane underneath and then they'll cover the top with either um, cobblestone, no not cobblestone, uh, gravel, or um, they'll use stone tiles. And I thought this, this kind of cobble um, shingle look was very um, similar to what you might see if they used like a, a little brick tile stone on top of the roof. And then it comes down here and boom, keeps the water off. So there we go, that's that done. 
So now me and Siberian Kitten are going to work hard on the interior, getting everything done here, and uh, putting a, a, a ceiling in here, and everything else kind of bring this thing to life. All right, guys. So I just went around, and I added these little elements here, and, and this is an architecture thing. Um, if I remember the term correctly, it's called scuppers. Uh, but what it is, it's an opening on a flat roof, on the outside edge of a flat roof, where if the drains, the drains normally are kind of in the middle, um, will create low spots where the water will flow to, and uh, it'll it'll drain out there through piping. But if you get a really heavy rainfall, like sometimes happens in deserts when it's monsoon season and things like that, way too much rain will fall on the roof for the drains to handle it. And so you put scuppers on, and what that does is the water can flow off, and it prevents... Um, flooding of the roof so the roof doesn't get too heavy uh, for the building to hold it up so there we go we added those all the way around and uh, made the building safe for occupation there we go and now I went I took a look at the inside here and and thought about some ideas I mean my first thought was oh let's use quartz uh, you know slabs for the ceiling but I think this would fit in much nicer it's not too bright, doesn't make it feel like you're in the middle of a, a uh, ice cave. But the smooth sandstone slabs. And then what we have with this too, this was the other thing that I had to think about is going down over the roof, we can put these in like this and maintain the color palette all the way through. Oops. And I know it feels kind of low, this roof, but or this ceiling rather, but you're not going to have super high ceilings in all of these buildings. A lot of these things, it's, you know, you're here to do your job. You're not here to enjoy the space. But we'll keep it open to the area below, which is why I wanted to make sure we had something that we could carry down uh, a, the whole surface of the roof here. Yeah, see, I knew I was going to fall. I knew it. Okay, well, get out here. There we go. Go finish putting that. Oh, I dropped a stair there. There we go. And we can put in the rest of the... Uh, ceiling when we get that floor down there finished but there you go that's looking pretty good i'm happy with that all right we're going to continue on and, and get this interior looking even better hey guys so you can see look at all this progress we've made so far we've been doing really good i uh, am flying away to despawn some of the bad guys that came in as i <laughs> loaded up the area here um, just logging back in after taking a little break. But here, let's get rid of this. Husk. All right. So, yeah, there's our building. Looking good. It's got the ceiling and the roof on it. You guys saw some of that. There's the whole ceiling. And I put doors in here. You see, I haven't done any of the offices or anything yet. I'm. Uh, Probably going to let Siberian Kitten take care of those, and we'll show those to you as soon as they're done. I head down. We got the bottom area done, and over here, I need to get some glow lichen. Well, I think I put glow lichen all on this wall, provide light, and then the lockers will go over here. So this is women's side. And then on this side, you've got the men right there, and bring you outside. So there's a the hall outside. We got our bell. In case we got to get all the troops ready. And then over here, we got our retaining wall for the uh, area up above. And this is the runway for all of the uh, vehicles and stuff to come down and load up on the LCAX, which we'll be putting in here. But that is that all done. And I built a little wall here, support the roadway. It's well supported. All the heavy vehicles won't be 
knocking it down or making it crumble at all. Yes, it's empty underneath. <laughs> but that's what we've got done. So I think the last thing we're going to do today um, is probably I'm going to fill this area in a little bit and we'll get this area flattened out so it's level with the rest of the uh, space around our patrol building. And then I think we'll, we'll probably end up putting on here is a couple uh, barrack type buildings or bunker buildings um, for troops that need to stay here uh, while doing their, uh, what do you call it, their tour at this area. But there it is. Yeah. All right, you said you had your B thing. My B box. Your B, -B, B box. You know, I know that we recorded this a little bit ago, but I never put it into the video where I recorded it. So I'm recording now. I want to show everyone your B box. Look at that. It looks just like a hive, and it's got a cute little bee head outside of it. I'm coming on in. Hey, kitten. Hi. Your bees are working real hard. Oh, these 52 guys. of them. 52. <laughs> no small amount. Oh, and you got the bee workers in here? Yeah, keeping everything happy. Oh, look, he's keeping them happy. Look at him feeding the bees by hand. Dangerous, but brave. Holy honeycombs. I guess we'll be doing some copper work, huh? Oh, yeah, we got some honey blocks in here now. What's... Oh, shears. Oh, that's empty. But that's not. That's got heads in it. <laughs> that's so you told me you're working on something special. Where is this something special? This way. Ooh. Very nice. We got bright tentacles. Wow. And you got the pointed dripstone in there. Oh, that is too cool. Oh, and there's the there's glow lichen. There's glow squid in there, too. There's some in there. Let's see. Oh, there's one. Yeah, look. Look at those, those, those glowing tips. We even put those on here. This is too nice. Oh, you did a, such a good job on this. I think I showed these guys some of your, your, your glow guy before because of your cape. Yeah, I think we saw some of that before. That's quite a bit of glowing sex. Oh, no more in there. Very cool. Did There's you go here? There. Is there? There. There he is. One. Yellow one, yeah. Oh, oh, not too happy with the magma block. Wow. Oh, I think it has heard him die. <laughs> Poor thing. That is awesome. That is awesome. Oh, is, yeah. Is my little derpy glow squid. Yeah, derpy glow squid. He's cute as heck. All right, there we go. Glow lichen added to the change rooms. Or locker rooms, whatever you want to call them. Lights it up quite nice. So now we'll just put some uh, lockers up along here. It might be. I don't know if we'll use shulkers or just some decorative blocks, but we'll, we'll figure that out. I'll figure something out. Well, me or Siberian get and can figure that out. Now we're going to go up top and finish that little area up there. All right, guys. So we've made some good progress here. Let's take a peek here. I'll walk you through uh, the little patrol office here really quick. So you come in, you get your nice little greeting area with a map, and you got the upper office. This would be a nice little office space. And down here, we've got the little locker rooms, men and women. We'll have to put signs up or something for that. And then up here, we've got 
some other office space. Nice meeting area. We'll build a nice meeting table here, right? And then in this, this would be a bathroom in here. And a couple offices. This is the big man's office. Oh, yeah. You can see his boats here and everything else. Oh, look at that. There you go. little extra parking spot. Little, uh, what do you call it? A, um, oh, come on. I was thinking about the word yesterday. Staging area. That's right. So you remember, if you guys remember, this was all open before, but now it's been filled in. It's a staging area. So just some uh, bricks and stuff have been put in here. It's not kept up super well because, you know, you're not going to park your cars here all the time or anything. But, you know, equipment can be put down here. You might get some heavy trucks coming up off of the LCACs and they got to park somewhere for a little bit or loads of stuff they'll pull in here for a little bit. And then down here, you've got your LCAC loading area. Yep, all nice and open. A little bit of gravel in here because this area had to be filled in and then some sand put on top and it's kind of mixed in a little bit. And then you got the runway. Oh, yeah, we got to put in some uh, kind of a ramp right here for the vehicles to go up. I forgot to do that. I got to put on some more iron bars too. That's okay. That's okay. There you go. Now I got some lights in here. So everywhere you see one of these, there's lights that'll light up the walkway. And then I'll put some overhead lamps up here. But I didn't want to flood it with a bunch of um, lamps or, or anything like that. I wanted to keep it kind of open and everything else. But this is yellow, so guys, no hate. No walk in here. You're getting too close to the edge. And then uh, we still have to build the piers that go out for the ships. So quite a bit of work yet to do, but we're out of time to record. I got to get this video edited, done, and, and out so you guys can watch it. So we can get our video up for this week on time. So that's it for now. But you know what, you guys? If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. And if you really loved it, don't want to miss another one, and you want to join the Siberian Kitten CSM Master Team, hit subscribe, 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 subscribe. This is CSM Master signing out.